the most expensive reel on Timu. Look at the packaging, man. Hey. <laughs> what was that? She's screaming a little bit. Oh man, I just got crushed right behind her. Oh, I'm still on. Right underneath us. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, he won't fit on the net. Get him, friend. Get him, friend. Oh my God. All right, guys, really quickly, I want to give a big special shout out to Timu for sponsoring today's video. But if you guys did not know, Timu is an online marketplace similar to Amazon, and they offer a variety of different things. In fact, I'd say it reminds me of Wish.com, but there's two main differences. One, I think the quality of the products on Timu are genuinely better. And two, the shipping is definitely way faster. It's super simple to get shopping. All you have to do is download the 100% free app on the app store, and within 10 seconds, boom, you're there, ready to shop. In fact, when you download the app, if you use my creator code, Lojo100, you guys are gonna get a $100 coupon for Timu, just to try it out. Guys, this is a super cool app. They have a ton of stuff, not just fishing stuff. Now, let's start today's video. I hope you guys are ready. A monster bass gets caught by me. I broke my PB, shattered it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. We are still here in Texas, and not just anywhere in Texas. We are at L&M Lake and Golf Retreat, which is by far my favorite place to fish in Texas. If you guys will remember, about a month ago, we did a video at Lake Gunnersville in Alabama where I found the two cheapest fishing reels on planet Earth. Now, in that video, I had a million comments from you guys saying, Timu, Lojo, you gotta check out this Timu app. Timu, 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 Timu. So I went on Timu for you fine folks, and I started clicking around a little bit, searching for something cool. And what I found, Brad, is what in this got? box right here. Have you ever heard of Timu? I have never heard of it until you told me about it yesterday. So what I did was, I found what I believe to be is the most expensive reel on Timu, which actually wasn't that much. I think it was like $189. That was the most expensive That was the most expensive okay. one on Timu. So, without further ado, let's open this thing. Let's see it. First oh, look at the packaging, man. Dang. I always That's... love it when budget products, they yeah. step up the packaging game. Yeah. I am a big fan of that. Right. Oh. oh we got a couple different languages we can read it in also. I th I'm guessing that's Chinese. I'm gonna have to take a shot in the dark. Okay, well, but there's some English though too. So we got gear ratio, 7.0 to one. Weight, 345 grams. Brad, you yep. can calculate that really quick into uh, pounds. Yep, already got it. Max drag, 15 kilograms. We need that, that translates to 10 plus ball bearings. Line capacity, a bunch, bunch of numbers. Don't want to read all that. Oh, here we go. It's a gold standard. Dang, you know how I know that? Boy. Because it's got a gold label on it. That's right. So it's got to be oh, a gold standard. Yeah, it's got to be good. I think there's some gold involved here. I got to give him an A for effort on the packaging. I mean, it's pretty freaking awesome. Does it say Ryobi like the power tools? It, that is what that is, right? Whoa. That's, That's definitely what I was just the thinking, power tool. Yeah. Frick <laughs> me. Okay. We got, we got a power reel? <laughs> I don't know, man. Now, Brad, I'm going to let you see it first. Okay. Oh, oh. man. Oh. oh. So uh, that is shiny. Oh, <laughs> boy. Okay. Shiny. Here we go. Check that thing out, right? <laughs> 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 Look at the handle. <laughs> That's, Look that's at the handle! Long. You're gonna hit your uh, belly whenever you go. I love it. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't realize it was it was like this. I mean, I knew it was gold, but okay. the pictures are yeah. a little deceiving sometimes. They, they can be. You, I didn't know the the cranking arm was that long. Really, everything else would be fine. I mean, a lot of it's like a normal bait cast. You got your star handle right there for drag. You got your tension knob right there. Yeah, oh, it's audible too, you hear that? Yeah, it's got the audible yeah. clicks, which everybody should know that I love. Yeah. No braking system because this is not a bait caster. I mean, yeah. it could catch that. That's a long I, motion. Do, do the motion, do the real motion. That's yeah. long, that's a long. That's, it feels like it's gonna be ripping fish in quick, right? It's pretty smooth though. I mean, it, it is very smooth. It feels good. It feels good. It feels like it's made out of solid gold. I think uh, for $189, not bad, man. Look at it though. It's actually really beautiful. I mean, the etched into the, the side right there, the various, which I guess is the, the model. Yeah. Light jigging is what it, that says. Light jigging. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Light jigging? I thought that said Viagra on there. What is it? <laughs> various? Various, okay. Has the same had effect bad, on you. I had a bad angle. Yeah, yeah. It'll get you standing tall. I just thought it would be fun since we had so much fun with this reel and it's still holding up. We've used this thing in two different videos. It's somehow still holding together, barely. I thought it would be fun if myself and Brad went out on this lake, took these reels, and just try to catch the most massive fish on one of these reels. So, me and Brad are gonna take these two, get them rigged up on some rods, get some lures, go launch the boat, see if we can make this happen. If you guys like this video, make sure you're smashing the thumbs up button. You should, because you guys all told me to do a Timu challenge, and by God, here we are. We're about to spend the next three hours on the best trophy bass lake of all time throwing this thing right here. The Gold Roy V power drill. <laughs> you can like, get the handle to move. <laughs> Look at that I thing. know, it's, it stops at some <laughs> point. Let's go. I could think of no better rod to put this gold monstrosity on than a oh, Guggen gold yeah, rod. Right, I mean, right. gold on gold. That's it great. actually doesn't look terrible. It looks good. If we're being completely honest. Yeah. Maybe oh, not really ideal for flipping and pitching, Maybe but... Uh, well, they say so right on the reel. Light oh, jigging. Light jigging yeah. yeah, I don't know about that. Isn't that like basically telling you don't cast it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I mean, here's the thing. There's no braking system on it. So casting is already going to be incredibly difficult. Here we go, baby. Andrew's in the game. Dude, his his boat does not look right to me. It's like he's, uh, <laughs> it looks like I might be sinking. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not even kidding. Like, do these things have boat plugs? Yeah, you think it's just got water in it? Yeah. So it might not be sinking, it might just have some water in it. Are you able to get around? I think so. Uh, what do you have tied on? What did you put on? Did I put a clutch put a on clutch there? On. I just figure if I'm gonna try to cast this thing. The, the clutch might be my best option, the, and the grande clutch especially. I cannot wait to hit a stump going this fast and me just be ejected for the second time in two days yeah. right off the front of this thing. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make an inaugural cast here. Yeah. I mean, I, th there's no brakes on this thing, first of all, so like slowing the spool down once it gets going, I, that's just on the tension now, I guess. <laughs> Everything else is normal about it. I got the tension kind of semi-adjusted. We got the wind coming from here this way. So let's see. All right. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna try to do it like I always do it. Oh, that was probably way too hard of an attempt. Did you hear, did you hear the noise it made? Yeah. I might want to adjust the tension just a little bit. Okay, this is going to take me a little while, but it's not unfixable. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Dude, I got the bird's nest out somehow. Good. Whew. I really uh, didn't think you are going to be able to get that one. It sounded It violent. sounded horrendous. Let me just try like a moderate cast, you know? Okay, with some thumb control? Okay. Okay. See, I didn't do any thumb control the first time like a dummy. So that was probably not that smart. Check out the cranking handle, man. Like, this is a literal cranking handle right here. Yeah, so how does I, that feel? Dude, I think you're right. I think it, like, brings a ton of line in per yeah, crank. Per I mean, crank, that yeah. thing came back to me pretty quick. Let's try a little overhandy. Dude, that's bombing it out there. I'm bombing it. Dude, this might work. Oh, oh, dude, I'm on. I'm on. You're kidding me. I'm on. And it feels, dude, it feels decent, Brad. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to put this down and grab the net. Please grab the net. Oh, he, did he come off? Did he come off? No, I still got him. I still got him. I still got him. probably swimming right at you. Come on, Brad. Come on. He's swimming right at me. Get it, Brad. You're kidding me! You're kidding That's me! First couple casts. Like the third cast with the Timu Various by Ryobi. Come on. <laughs> Dude, the second or third cast, excuse me. I think it's safe to say the fish are fired up today. So we got big fish coming real soon, I think. I got the right lure tied on. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, well, uh, let's get to fishing. Dude, the old cranker handled that fish really well. Like, I am digging this cranking handle. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the most expensive inshore reel that I just that I just got with that knob. This is yeah. kind of like that. It's kind of like it, but it's got a really long, like super long arm, obviously. Uh, this is kind of wild. Like, I, 
And this is not even this is not even what this is for. Like if I was using it for its purpose, it'd probably be a heck of a lot more enjoyable. Okay, that was a little rough on that one. I'm gonna have to watch how hard I cast, but we can definitely whip this thing around. And we're gonna put a bunch of different lures on this thing too. I wanna I wanna test this thing. I don't think the buzz bait. Oh man, I just got crushed right behind it. Oh, I'm still on. He got off. Oh, it's right underneath us. There's a lot going on. Fire up, dude. It hit it and like went underneath Andrew's boat. So we're sitting on them. We're sitting on them. And I've got a cranker from the future, and you've got a six dollar bait casting <laughs> reel from the past. Cast it a bunch of times. Oh, we're on. Oh boy. We are on. Oh boy. Oh any good? Got? Any good? Not terrible, but Ooh. I think it's not like one you just caught. Oh. There. Do you want the net? No, we're flip flip him! Let's flip go! Around. Oh, shoot! Oh, shake that meaty head for us, baby. We got no pliers. <laughs> I love fishing. We have. Oh, oh! I am sorry, Brad. We have. Oh! oh. I think I just uh, <laughs> wet myself a little bit. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> On the, I think that was Alex Express, but cheapest bait caster in the world, right there. That's right. Glad to be uh, continuing on the legend with this reel right Man. here. Dude, we are kind of on them right now, dude. Let's go. Let's watch the dive. A little sidewinder. I think we're just scratching the surface. That was a lot of fun. I'm worried about that hook going in my body. It'll come. You got to like be intentional with your cast or this thumb button will just come unengaged. I, it's all those gold flakes on there. Yeah, it's just that 24 karat gold frame weighing it down. I, this thing works just fine. It's really well, not bad. In. Oh, wow. Lee, that smacked it. Oh, boy. Let me reel this in. It's running right at us. I can't feel for you. Oh, that's, that's oh, a big one. That's holy a big one. That's a big one. Oh, in. shoot. That thing smacked it. Oh. It's coming. That's a big fish. That's a good one. No, don't go under Andrew's boat, you dirty boy. You dirty Come boy. Over Come over here, baby. That's good fish. Oh, no, no. Yes. Oh my god! that thing right in there. Boo, I knew it was going to come off any second. Watch your hand, Watch Bradley. Your hand. On the old chrome, chrome clutch. That's what minimum five pounds, no matter where you come from. Oh, it's, yeah. it's probably five and a half, pushing more. Very healthy fish. Five pounds. Did you see, like, you saw my rod when it hit. Smacked This it. thing just smacked me crazy. Knocked it sideways and stayed on it. Rehooked it a couple times. That's a monster, man. Yeah, she'll be good. Oh yeah, took off. Dude, let's go, man. Let's go. Let's freaking go. We're about to put together a 20 pound bag with, with the cheapest reel on the internet and the most expensive budget Timu reel. We're about to catch 20 pounds with those two things. I'm excited, dude. I love this thing. You are riding low, man. Yeah, I'm trying to keep an eye on it. The good thing is, if you didn't, like, if you were missing a plug or something, you'd already been sank. So, so it's not that. It's got to be a slow leak or something. Damn it. Bombs away. That sounds a little, that yeah. sounds a little juicy there. I might be getting a little overconfident. Nice little, uh, nice little feel to it. It's throwing this thing way out there. So you're actually able to cast that thing pretty well into the wind, kind of. Yeah, like, this is into the wind. I had to tighten my tension go. up a little bit on yeah. there. I had to tighten her down a little bit, casting into the wind. Yeah. That's, oh, I'm on. Are you already? Look at that. That mm -hmm. feels like an absolute monster. That's that a freaking monster. Fish. It's an absolute monster. monster. It, it is absolutely pressure. massive. Get that pressure on it, it is massive. Oh. We need the net, Bradley. Oh, golden eye. We need oh, the net. This is a freaking yeah. monster. I'm oh. scared. It's on. We're ready. This net's like six inches long. Oh my oh, god! Got your big fish. Oh, got oh! 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 He won't fit on the net! Get him, Ted! Get him, Ted! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! We don't have a scale! Jesus! Oh! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Lee. Let's just look at it for a sec. I don't know even know where the crankbait is. Oh, I think it's deep in the Oh my, look at its head, dude. Look at how big the head is. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 
Oh my God. That might be a tip batter, that's, brother. No, that's, and, and that's it might be more. It might be more. Here, let's put him back in that's the. Yeah, okay, now pull straight out. Got it. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Okay, so. Okay, so we need to get this thing back in the water immediately. Okay. It was kind of hooked in the gills a little bit, not a lot. Oh my God, it's a that's freaking hard. huge fish, dude. <laughs> dude. I'm going to put it head first so I can get water. Yeah. Okay, that yeah, just like that. Bad, just like that. Okay. Holy shit. Probably come to Texas. Oh my right God! Look How big that. do you think that is, legitimately? Legit, I think it's, it's over ten. It's, it's over ten, over 10 for, for sure. sure. I'm Absolutely. It's in that twelve. I believe it's a little over twelve. It's huge. Like it's head. It's so big. It take the whole net. Maybe. It's so it's meaty. Net. It didn't even fit in the gosh darn net. Look at this thing. Okay. Look at how wide it is. Okay, I'm gonna hold it this way so when we're going forward, it's getting okay. ox or it's getting water to the gills. We just talked about not bringing the scale and how that was gonna guarantee we catch a big fish as a joke. And now look at us, no scale, we have a freaking monster. You should call Mr. Uh, Mikey up, tell him to. You might wanna call him up, tell him to get the, uh, get the biologist queued up. Oh my goodness. I'm shaking for you, dude. This is crazy, so, man. I'm it was hooked so weird too. I was really concerned because it was hooked weird, but and I was shaking. I couldn't get the, the hooks out, but yeah. we got it out nice and clean. I, I believe this fish is going to be fine. <laughs> I want to get back out there and cast it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Dude, the first jump it made, I was like, Jesus Christ, that's a monster. And I lost so many out here. That's the thing. You know, I've lost so many big fish on crankbaits here. I didn't want to celebrate too early. I was like, man, we got to catch this. And then I saw you go to net it, but it wouldn't fit. <laughs> it was sideways. It's like, like was, you didn't miss it. It just wouldn't it go would, in the would net. So then and as soon as it went to the back of the boat, my heart drops. I was like, dude, we're going to lose it right here. And Brad's going to feel terrible. I was, and yeah. I'm just going to be mentally done. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm so relieved. I hope Brad's I right. Hope it's like 1210 is what I hope. Dude, that'd be lake record, right? That'd yeah, be, lake, that'd be record. lake record. Yeah. We're kind of a little torn on how much this thing weighs, but hey. I'm pretty sure it's a PB no matter what. Absolutely. Oh, Mike, you ready to see? Yeah, let me tell you. I'll tell, I'll tell you where that happened now. That's 11-2. 11 11-2? 11 <laughs> it might be. I, I, my guess was it was really close to 11. Come here, Brad. Clipper. Clamper, if it'll hold. And hold it over the boat. There you go. Zeroed out. Confirmed. Oh, what a truth here. Oh! It's 12. It's man. holding. Oh. 12. <laughs> 12 2? It won't it won't lock. Come on, lock on 12. Lock on 12. Yep. That is 12. That's a 12. <laughs> That's a 12 pound large mouth. 12 pounds. Holy moly. Look at that. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Look at the eyeballs, Mike. Look at that thing. Holy moly. Okay, we gotta get some pictures here. We have a 12 pounder secured and we have not even completed our bag yet. We still have one more fish to complete our bag. Yeah, dude. Woo! 24 pound bag going on right now. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing pretty good. So since this is the double digit bass caught out here at LM, Mike, the owner, is gonna remove a couple scales to send to his biologist and they can pull all kinds of information from that fish. They can age it. They can give us a lot of data that help them in their lake stocking efforts and lake management efforts. That, so I can get her off. Hold that. There's two, that should be enough. Right there. Okay. Let's open up. Boom. There you go. Got some scales. We got the fish. That's got her right. weighed. Look at the tail, Mike. The tail's all bloody up. up. What do you, what do you? A heavy spawn. <laughs> we a had a very spawn. successful spawn this year, yeah. That's outstanding. Yeah. 13. 13 double digits. 13 digits. Double digits. Nice. 13 go. since what? October? That's an illustrious club to be in right That's there. A 12 pound club. Congratulations. Let's go. Uh, thank well, you, sir. We got well, your jacket you. in the house. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to like my jacket now. We're going to take this thing back out as close to where we caught it as we can. We're also going to keep fishing because this video is not over. All right, folks. One last look. My new PB. 12 pound on the dot. Large mouth bass. Unbelievable. Look at its tail. How tore up it is. Mike thinks it just had an incredible spawn. Let's hope so. Let's hope this fish's genetics is all up in this lake, which I'm sure it is. Dude. Now we want to see that healthy release. That's the best part for me, is to know that the fish is okay. Oh yeah, look at her. Let her go. She's full of, full of feist. She's feisty. She's ready to go bite the clutch one more time. Congratulations, man. Boy. That was cool, man. That was cool. 
This lake is incredible, continues to be a legendary fishery. Every single time we come here, it seems like something special happens. And I think we just added a major memory to that list. To the vault, let's go. Let's keep fishing. We got a little bit of a switch up going on, folks. I got Andrew over here rigged up with the clutch that I was just throwing. So I need you to not lose that clutch, Andrew. That's gonna, be, that's gonna be part of the replica mount that I have made for this largemouth bass I just caught. So I need that, but I also want you to catch your PB. And today might be the day to do it. Andrew's PB is seven pounds, six ounces, right? That's it. Okay, well we know for a fact there are plenty of those swimming around this lake. Brad's gonna continue to throw that Alex Express combo with, with the clutch. Smart move. Yeah, I got the chrome clutch. That looks good with that reel. That Look looks that. amazing. I am gonna switch things up a little bit because I wanna throw a few different lures on this combo. I got a little jig here. And Mike, the owner, swears by dragging a jig in this area through the grass. He swears by it as a big bass technique. So let's just, let's just see. And I also really want to set the hook with this reel. That's what I want to do. I want to see how the drag system handles a hook set from a man. Look at that. That's a pretty good looking presentation right there, boy. Uh -huh. Got, I think that's pretty. I look like <laughs> now, can I cast the jig? Barely, <laughs> barely. I gotta tell you, this reel performed actually incredibly well. The cranking handle was not a detriment to me at all, which I kind of thought it might be, especially in a cranking fight like that. You wanna take out some line quickly. So it actually kind of worked in that regard. The only problem is casting. That's been the real problem. But we got 20 mile an hour sustained winds. That's normally, that's a problem anytime you got that going on. So I gotta give this thing a solid A minus so far. If it had some breaks, we'd be in business. Dude, the freaking fish wouldn't fit in the net, dude. I looked down there and saw that it wouldn't fit in the net, and my heart was just, oh, I knew, I just, it, then it like got out and went to the back yeah. of the boat, and that's just, that's just death right there. You know what I mean? As a bass fisherman, when that, when you miss that first net attempt that's, on yeah, a big yeah. one, my heart sank. And that big bass makes one final run to the back mm. of the boat, that's almost always just, yeah. it's over. I'm gonna have to kind of cast over you here to. Yeah, to you're good. I'll be in before you get Oh, that. wow, did you hear that one? Oh, she was screaming. She was screaming. I think uh, that previous fish put a little stress on the reel. Now, the one problem with this thing is when you get a bird's nest, it's it's a doozy. It's a little, it's kind of tight quarters in there. It's tight quarters in there. It's not really conducive to this. Yeah, I'm not wow. sure if I'm gonna be adding this to my tournament combos, but you know. By God, it caught my PB, so I mean, what are you gonna say? All right, let's try that again without making her scream so hard. There we go. See, I, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Oh, okay. The fish are still biting. Let's see if there's any followers. Look at that, how small that looks. Yeah. Wow, he's trying to sling them hooks too. Yeah, next to a 12, my guide is not, not very flattering. No, he's not very appealing. That's not his fault, though, that we just caught a mammoth. He says, hey, you just give me some time. All right, we're flipping and pitching. <laughs> we're flipping with the That's what with the said. cranker. It said light, light jigging. Light jig. uh, by God, I got a light jig on there, so. <laughs> I cannot wait to slam a hook set with this thing. I am so ready to do so. Money. Well, I was telling Andrew, there's a fish. Oh, That's a little fish. better? Perhaps? Uh, no, it's, I think it's exactly the same fish I just caught. That little rascal right went back out there and bit again. Okay, looks like he's actually hooked. Yeah, he's super scanning. You're coming on. You're coming in here with us. You're getting your hands on that one. Yeah, you're gonna have to. He looks a little unhealthy. Ooh. Right, look at that. What did he eat? He might be sickly. Oh, uh -oh. yeah, that's what happens right there. That's not what you want. No, it's really not get there yes i'm in it that was a good shot i'm getting a little bit better with the accuracy oh he did he caught one he's on let's go andrew <laughs> i don't think it was a pb but that's okay you're just warming up that's good. Okay. Okay. That's a good fish. Oh, good fish. Okay. Oh, hey, hey. He's better than the last one. He's not good. <laughs> he, ain't good. he ain't good. Don't good. Don't point that camera at me. Yeah. Dude, I'm getting the hang of this reel. I am dropping dimes over here and just not getting bit. Oh, I just got cranked. I just got cranked. I just got cranked. 
I'm cranked. He's running right at the boat with it. Oh! Yanked my freaking trailer off, dude. That was crazy. I flipped back into these sticks with the jig, got bit immediately, and the fish started swimming out right at me like 100 miles an hour. I couldn't catch up with it with the cranking handle. I was like, that's the worst. <laughs> you gave it your best shot. That's the worst. By the time I set the hook, he had the freaking bandito bug pulled off. I don't know. I'm going to try to throw this bird's nest out there. <laughs> what was that? She's dude? screaming a little bit. She's screaming. I got a fish. There you go. Oh, come here. Right by the boat ramp. Let's go. It's a new flipping setup right there. Come here. Stop it. What a stick. Oh, he just threw his, his yeah. spiky back into me. That right there is a flipping setup, folks. Damn, that felt good. Get out of here, Junior. Get out of here, Junior. Man, I think I found my new favorite combo of all time. Well, folks, there's not much else to say. Obviously, we finally accomplished the mission of breaking my PB. I'm glad I was able to do it in Texas at Mike's place, l and Lake and Golf Retreat with Brad, with Andrew. It was truly an experience to remember for the rest of my life. Obviously, I'm back in Alabama now. Here's old Goldie. There she is, still got her with me. Also had one of you guys remind me in the comment section that I forgot to give away these reels way back when I said I was going to. I apologize, what can I say? I'm a human piece of garbage. Sometimes I forget a ton of stuff, but to make it up to you guys, I am prepared to give away all three. So these two original cheap ones right here from Wish and AliExpress, I will give those two away and I'm gonna give this gold Ryubi or whatever it ended up, I don't even know what it's actually called. I'm gonna give that away too. So you're gonna give all three of them away to one of you folks if you want them. The giveaway rules are the same pretty much all the time. All you have to do is hit the thumbs up button on this video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the bell notification enabled. I will announce the winner of these three reels in the next video. I'll have it in the description. I'll have it as a comment in the comment section. And hopefully I'll say it in the video at some point in time as well. In fact, in my previous video, I was giving away this reel, this little quantum reel right here. So the winner of that reel giveaway is this person right here. If that's you, send me an email at lojo.fishing at gmail.com. I will verify your identity, then I will send the reel right out to you. Also, do not get scammed in the comment section, folks. There are a ton of predators out there. That's what they are. They're predators. They take my profile image, the picture, and they put the word Lojo in there somewhere, and they tell you that you've won some gift, and you have to text this number and send $20 for shipping or whatever. That is all crap, okay? That is a lie. I would never ask you for money. I'll never ask you to text me. If you win a giveaway, it's free. It's a giveaway. So please do not fall victim to the scammers in the comment section. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for joining me on this special journey to catch my new PB bass. I'm incredibly blessed. I'm grateful. It's been like three years since I set that PB of nine pounds, 11 ounces. I was in Mexico when that happened. I'm so glad to now say that I have caught a 12 pound largemouth. I mean, what else is there to say after that, honestly? Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, more videos coming soon. I literally love each and every single one of you. See y'all next time.